Hi, and welcome to this quick tool review. I was recently, recently approached by email by Jim at Tangent Engineering Company who's had a, a mill attachment uh, that they wanted to send me for evaluation. They said they were originally inspired by one of Tom Lipton's videos where he made a sensitive quill adjust wheel and they have done the same but uh, put their own spin on it. And uh, inside this box is the part and uh, we'll be heading over to the mill very soon to go evaluate that. But first, um, he sent me this sent me two drawings, and basically they will make them to order. This is the for clones, and this one is for Bridgeport actual Bridgeport mills. Uh, there are some differences in sizes on here. Um, you can contact Jim over at Jim Enos or Enos or Enos. I don't know how we pronounce the last name. I apologize for that. At acushnettool.com. So uh, if you want to get a hold of him and you're interested in one of these, uh, he's making them for the general public and just wanted me to evaluate it. He also had Keith Fenner evaluate it, and uh, it looked really good. He's made some uh, significant improvements over the basic design on the mill. He also packaged it very carefully. Wow, boy, did he. Oh, interesting. And he's used some cups as... Uh, spacers in here. This thing did not look like it rattled too much around at all. Okay, so here's the wheel. Very pretty. Wow, look at that. Very nice and soft. Momo is the uh, wheel manufacturer. Quill wheel, and he's got his own uh, own uh, emblem on there. That's very nice. Uh, it holds itself into the quill with this little uh, wing nut that just puts a little pin uh, tip out that fits into one of the couple slots on the quill, which we'll go look at. I noticed that he's got three pins on his instead of the standard quill lever, which only has one. So uh, let's head over to the mill and put this guy on. All right, over at the mill here, we've got a regular quill handle, and I'm sure we've all been here before where we've got uh, some sort of drill bit, say a center drill in, and we've got the, the handle set just right so that we get the maximum uh, torque advantage and we're and pulling down to drill our hole. Then we swap drill bits, and now, before the drill bit makes contact, you've got to have the handle way down here, which means if you're going to drill, uh, you're going to be pushing up, which is really uncomfortable. So instead, what you do is you pop this guy out, rotate it down 180, move the handle down to the drill bit's about to make contact, and now you're at the top of the swing again, and you can make your, uh, your drill uh, your drill hole. And uh, so this kind of handle works great. Um, this design that here has a single pin, and uh, there is a ball bearing that's supposed to keep it in place, but there's not very much tension on it. Probably needs to be increased a little bit with this set screw. Um, also, this is only a single pin, and if you watch Keith Venner's, Venner's video where he's reviewing this very product himself, uh, a bunch of his holes got uh, damaged in, a, in the common, area, common location where this thing normally seats. So his most commonly used places, these holes are now oval shaped and the pin tends to pop out because it's just a single pin, so all the force is on one side. Let's take a look at Tangent Engineering Solution. So they made a nice wheel here. It's fit. Point out it has three pins, so it'll engage in three spots simultaneously, which is a very good idea. And it's not really sided. So uh, you can just keep grabbing, going round and round on this guy. Uh, it does have uh, three arms rather than four arms, so you couldn't just hold the arm on the top side if that was your preference. But it has this wonderfully spongy, soft steering wheel rubber here uh, to grab onto normally. Uh, it uses a piece of all thread that they have uh, ground the or turn the end down to a point to engage the the same thing that the ball bearing on this thing was engaged is the little grooves on the on the quill uh, mount and uh, they've uh, loctited it into with a wing nut on the end so that you can pop this guy off however this guy is much longer so there's a little bit less torque advantage of this guy when you're really trying to crank but you can get your fingers around these arms and probably get a very decent amount of torque um, 
On the flip side, the quill lever, uh, even though they have it going out, sticks below the bottom of the quill. And I have had situations where this runs into my fixturing uh, or my, my vise or some other part, and I have to pop this and rotate it around, or I just have to take it off completely to get it out of the way. This guy does not, they, they chose a, a size steering wheel that goes right down to the base of the quill, so it should never run into a part. And if it does, you can always pop it off as well. Um, it's uh, very, very comfortable to use. Plus, it's a natural because I'm sure most people drive, unless you live in some place where you have public transportation, which isn't too many places in the United States. Um, so uh, it's a very comfortable feel, and uh, you get plenty of torque, a little bit less than the handle, but probably not noticeable under any normal circumstances. The only possible negative I can see about this really great design is that I don't know how this foam rubber is uh, going to deal long term with cutting fluids and coolants. Uh, they tend to be a bit aggressive and uh, this may be completely inert in which case total thumbs up. Uh, there is the possibility that it might break down over time. I really don't know. Time will tell. Uh, but I think I've got a new uh, standard uh, part on the side of my mill here uh, because it is a lot more convenient than the standard quill lever. So uh, uh, I give you guys a big thumbs up. I think this is a great product. I don't know what the prices are yet because they didn't tell me what they were. Um, they did give me this one to evaluate for free. So uh, I can't think of any negatives about this except the potential long-term breakdown of this phone, but that may not be an issue yet either or at all either. So uh, anyways, I recommend uh, if you're in the market for something like this and uh, you don't have the time to make or desire to make your own, check this out, Tangent Engineering. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time.